This is A game. Fast acting, long lasting, with no side effects. Hey, all my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel, where we embrace our femininity, increase our womanly values, and celebrate our brothers. So join me on our feminine journey to learn, heal, and grow. Hey there, my Crimsonites, and welcome to the Crimson Cure channel. I'm your host, Femininity Coach and author of the Crimson Cure, and this is my perspective. So today we are talking about Kim Burrell. Um, last few days, she's been getting dragged by social media for her comments in a sermon that she gave. Um, for those of you who may or may not know, Kim Burrell is actually really famous um, gospel singer. And, you know, she got into ministering and all of that sort of thing years and years ago. Um, she came from that family, a church family. So her mother and father were, you know, pastors and in the church. So she grew up in a church. Kim Burrell is a Chicago native because she um, was with Reverend James Cleveland when she was a child and growing up singing. So She's always been in the church scene. She's always been in that whole circle. That has been her world. And she has made a lot of money in that world. And she has made her mark there professionally. But over the years, Kim Burrell has had off and on controversy because of the way in which she is known to address her congregation at times. More specifically, how she's been known to address black women um, at times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read your article and then I'm going to play the clip that got everybody in an uproar. And then we're going to talk about why they were up in an uproar. Then we're going to talk about why they were really mad at Kim. So let me go ahead. I'm going to share the screen just so you guys can look at it. Okay, um, so here we go right here. Um, I'm wondering if you guys can really see this. Okay, seems like you guys can really see this. All right, so gospel singer Kim Burrell apologizes after referring to broke and ugly churchgoers doing, during a sermon, okay? So this was just a couple of days ago. Gospel singer Kim Burrell is facing backlash after a recent church guest appearance. The 49-year-old Houston-based musician who's worked with Mariah Carey, Frank Ocean, and Jay-Z was filmed giving a speech at one of Brian Carnes' Kingdom City church locations over the weekend, during which she comments on churchgoers' appearance and financial statuses. Since delivering the sermon, which also saw Burrell praise attendees for walking in faith by not wearing a face mask or getting vaccinated, a clip has gone viral on social media and garnered criticism for individuals offended by her comment. She shared an apology online Tuesday, but later deleted it and released a video explaining that that post was written by an attorney. This is the actual clip. You may not necessarily be able to see it, but you'll be able to hear it. You gotta choose up. Find you some value. You know, sometimes before we get friends, we have to do an interview. How long have you been broke? How many times have you changed your name on your light bill? <laughs> How many of your bills in your little cousin's name? <laughs> Do you live in a trailer home or a house? You know, you understand. And it's not about status or material things. It's just about choices. You know, life is different now. And, you know, we are at church. Thank God we're here. Those of us who walk in by faith without a mask and no vaccine. And so... We, we honor the Lord. God is good. I respect all of the men of God here and respect you. Can y'all clap so I don't feel strange right about now? Hopefully we'll get a chance to meet each other when y'all invite me to come to your church. I'm not as expensive as I seem. Um, and so, I don't know, maybe you got a little leftover from your VPP love. <laughs> Prayer, praise, and power. You understand. Amen. Isn't the Lord great? Amen. 
Amen. And so, you know, I, I like coming here because the ground is already tilled with great personality like Dr. Karn. Because one thing I love about him, he's deep in the word, but he knows how to have great humanity. And most don't understand his personality because he is truth personified. And he tells the type of truth that makes most uncomfortable. Because who likes to be told? You're just ugly. No one likes to be told that. You know, especially when they have realized it. All right. Most don't get offended until they know the bad thing about themselves. And then somebody else recognizes and says, oh, I saw the ugly too. I just want to let you know. So anyway, y'all get that later. God is great. All of you are beautiful. I haven't chosen anyone to be ugly yet. God is good. God is great. Y'all look great. Most of you have on hats covering most of that anyway. Here's to you. Uh, I have a great personality. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, daily I shall. So, um, I probably don't need to read the rest of this because it sort of almost reads like a transcript. So, I'm going to come out of that. And come back to you guys and talk about what we just heard. Now, let's first talk about what she said. She didn't call. Now, let me preface this. I'm not really upholding Kim Burrell. Kim is a gynocrat, okay? She's a church variety gynocrat, okay? So let's just be clear about that. I'm not some type of Kim Burrell fan, okay? Because I don't follow church personalities. I just happen to know who she is because she's been on Chicago radio for a long time. She was and, you know, stuff like that. So, um, she is who she is. And she kind of bounces back and forth. People don't really like her delivery. And this particular delivery was shady. Okay, she said what she said in a real shady, ha, 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 ha. you know what I'm saying? She wasn't being very nice. She wasn't being kind. She was, That was not delivered with love. That was not delivered with grace or with God's goodness, okay? Let's just be straight with that. That video was real snarky and it was real shady. So that was one reason why people were kind of upset with it a little bit because it did come off real snarky. It was something okra wig free ish about her up there, too. She had an okra spirit. She had an okra wig free spirit. And that was part of what was going on with her. Um, it might have been the glasses because okra showed with them glasses. And so she had an okra wig free spirit that was delivering that message. But the other reason why they were mad at what she said is because she had the audacity to speak out about values. When she said, how long have you been broke? See, she really didn't call any individual broke and ugly. That's not what she did. Snarky as it may have been, that's not what she said. She was talking about and people immediately took it as, oh, she's calling people broke or whatever. What black people don't tend to understand, especially, you know, what I'm saying those who are wrapped up in the so-called lost value system, they what they tend to do is not understand it when you start talking about values. See, they don't like that. See, when you get friends, you do have to ask them about you have to be careful about who you let be your friend due to their life choices because if this individual doesn't make good life choices then how they gonna be a good friend to you why are you associating yourself with individuals that would make that fill their life with bad decision after bad decision after bad decision that's got them in the situation in their life that they're in that's the thing and that's what she was really talking about in the beginning of that clip when she said it, she said, it's not about money and status. It's about choices. And that part is actually really true. Now, let me tell you about why they is mad at, at Kim. Not only because she had the audacity to speak up about value, but she's in the same boat as T.D. Jakes. See, she's turning around and biting the hand of the gynocracy. And that's the hand that feeds her. That is why Gynocrats is mad at T.D. Jakes because it's like Negro. Boop, 
hold up. We paid you. We put you where you at. We made you into TD Jakes. We made you into Kim Burrell. Okay? You got where you got because of the gynocrats that take up so many black churches. The feminism that has infected so many black churches. We put you there. So how dare you call yourself turning around and saying something about that, about us, the group that put you where you were supposed that where you are right now. Just like we put you there, we'll tear you down. Okay, we put you up, then we tear you down. We put you up, and then we'll tear you down. So don't even try to act like you're above us. The thing about it is she thinks she's bigger than the gynocracy that built her, and she's not. And that is what, and TDJ think he bigger, but he ain't, ain't nothing bigger than, uh, 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 than the gynocracy but them bellies, okay? Because she's horribly fat, okay? Kim Burrell is, is, okay, let's talk about her for a minute. And this ain't talking about her in a row session, but Kim is nice, nasty, because Kim has not liked her life. Kim don't like her life. Kim does not. Kim like her money. Kim like the professional successes that she has had. But Kim does not like her personal life. She. This is not a happy person. This is not a person that walk in the joy of the Lord. Okay. And I'm not being funny when I say that. This is a person that's not really walking in the happiness and the positivity and the joy of God. Okay. But yet she ministers to people. There was an old video that just surfaced about her talking about how smelly and she was actually specifically talking about black women in that video. Okay. And that was an old one that resurfaced because of this. She's spoken out against the LGBT that got her canceled off of Ellen. She was going to make a, uh, an appearance on the Ellen show, got her canceled off because, you know, Ellen is rainbow. So that's not acceptable. And we know that the gynocracy and the LGBT go hand in hand. Okay. So they are, you know, they're kissing cousins. You can't offend one without offending the other. Okay. So, but Kim is a black woman that grew up in the church and all that kind of stuff. And she thinks that she is able now to talk about the experiences, not only that she sees, but the experiences that she has had. Kim Burrell has only been married once, okay, to a man that, uh, I think his name Joseph Wiley, that everybody suspected was Rainbow, which is real ironic, given her comments in the past about the community. She got one son from him. They're divorced now. Okay, so he was sus from what everybody else say. Okay, this is a woman that can't get the things in her personal life to fulfill her. She has to keep going in this sort of way. And Kim is bitter. Kim Burrell is a bitter older woman. She's a, almost, she's hitting 50. She's overweight. She's not beautiful. She got money, but she's not glamorous. Okay. She's made all of the bad decisions that she talk about in these little so-called sermons that she be given. Okay. She would love for a man to come and sweep her off her feet and love her and stuff like that. But, but Kim is nasty. And when I say she's nasty, I mean the way she speak, the way she think, the way she operates. Okay. She got that child off that man. She didn't want that man. Any, any, anything she probably told that man, go ahead on. I done got what I need to get out of you. Go ahead on and be quote unquote on the DL or whatever it is you doing. Cause I don't need you. We don't really even like each other anyway. I just got you with, you know, you know, she the breadwinner cause he wasn't nothing but a musician who knows how much money he was or was not making. So, you know, that wasn't, she wasn't in it cause he was so fine or because of money, anything. She the one had the money. He came over, gave her what she wanted, gave her the DNA, was married to her for a little while. You know, that probably threw everybody off of his trail and she was able to get a child and say that she was married at one point and had a kid and had a family. You know, she wanted to be able to say that she had accomplished that at some point, like a checklist, you know, but she's not the type of woman that a man can really come and in and say, yes, you 
I choose you, you're beautiful inside and out. You know, I want to have a family with you. Kim is way, way past the wall, honey. Okay, she done knocked the wall over. Okay, she done knocked it over, stepped over, it, tripped over, it, and got back up, and there was another wall in front of her. Okay, this is what's going on with Kim. Okay, this is not a happy individual. So, but the thing about it is, this is why they're angry with her. She, you can't turn around and bite the gynocracy when you're a part of it. You're not bigger than that machine. You don't have any better values than they have. OK, she want to talk about and mention value system because she doesn't like the choices that she made inside of the gynocracy. But that's too bad because it's too late. And so every once in a while she get fed up and she bite everybody with it, with her regrets over her bad decisions, over her lack of a value system over her adoption of feminism and then going with it as long as she has until now it's like what have i done and it's too late to hit the reverse she not young she not beautiful she don't have nothing that a man want now nothing she got a haughty attitude she arrogant and she bitter and she mean nobody wants her she gonna keep doing this that's why they mad at kim okay she she spoke out about values, but that's not what you do when you toe the line. They're gonna they're gonna drag her because as long as she told the gynocratic line, they ain't gonna talk about how big she is, they ain't gonna talk about that suspect man she had, they ain't gonna talk about, you know, they ain't gonna talk about all that stuff. But she come about her mouth sideways about the gynocracy that built her there, drag her to it ain't no more. They drag her for filth all over social media, which is what they are doing. And they're doing the same thing to T.D. Jakes. So I just wanted to really point those things out. Okay? Because when you look at Kim's life, these things tell a story about this woman. This is not a woman pleased with her life choices at all. The gynocracy has run roughshod over her. And she know it. She's very well aware. So be careful letting the gynocracy build you because it will come and eat you. It, it is no respecter of persons. You cool till you not. It love you till it don't. It's nice to you till it's not. You benefit from it until you can't. And that's the hard lesson that Kim is learning. And she's angry about it. And she's going to keep telling this to people. She's going to keep doing this kind of stuff. She's not going to stop doing this stuff. You're just going to have to stop inviting her to your church. And then she'll probably get online and say it anyway. Just wanted to bring that to everybody's attention. You trying to, these church personalities are trying to walk back. Their support of the gynocracy and the gynocracy is not having it. The other thing, since the gynocracy is not having it, but we aren't having it either. And what we're not having is not having accountability for the Black Lives Matter as an organization. The link to the petition that we started against Black Lives Matter is in the description box. So I would greatly appreciate everyone who goes ahead and signs it. We're almost to 4,500 signatures, which will be a great achievement and accomplishment. If we can get it there this week, I would be so, so, so happy. So please go into the description box. It's right under the video and click the link for the Black Lives Matter petition. Go ahead and sign it, share it, contribute to it if you can. Also, Sound off in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Okay. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not. Once again, I'm your host of Crimson Cure, and this was my perspective. Bye-bye, Crimsonites. Hey, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And if you've got more to say on the topic, leave a comment down below.
Also, don't forget to support our sponsor who so graciously supports this channel by clicking the description box and the link for A-Game at agameherbal.com. You can go ahead and get a 10% discount off of your next purchase using the code Kendra10. This has been yet another Crimson Cure production and I'll catch you guys on the next one.